KCL News, working for you. Well, some local teens get a dose of reality on the choices they make in life. It's all part of what organizers are calling a teen maze. Ashley Lincoln joins us now with more on why this really affects and hits home for the people in Effingham County, the students there. It does, Jennifer, because in 2013, there was a total of seven fatal accidents involving a teen in Effingham County. Organizers are hoping this program will not only get them to graduation, but will also help to save lives. The alcohol, the texting, the distracted driving. Seeing the consequences of your actions is the thought behind the teen maze. The focus, texting and driving, bullying and social media safety. With those things, those are the biggest problems that we're seeing here at the school um, and the things that are leading to not only just bad decisions and why our children aren't graduating, but also to their deaths. Students, parents and teachers at South Effingham High School participated in an interactive social experience where students are confronted with making the right decisions. Organizers say this is their first year adapting this program, a program that was inspired from Chatham County Schools. Teen Maze is something that Chatham County has done for a number of years, and um, we're as social workers, I'm always looking for creative ways to get the students involved in learning about consequences that come with choices. But the matter at hand hits especially hard here in Effingham County. In 2013, there were seven fatal accidents involving teen drivers, a number law enforcement say is one too many. Sophomore Lucas Cole is like many excited 15-year-olds looking forward to the possibility of driving. I don't want to get into a crash. So if you don't need to be drinking, be driving or texting, maybe focus on the road. Cole's mother says she came out to make sure her son was making the right decisions. Very scary. You always want your child to know what's out there that what could happen may happen. By the time the maze is completed, teens learn their fate. Four different endings. They either graduate, they die, they go to jail, or they end up dropping out of school. So our ultimate goal is for them to graduate and to, to go across the stage. And tomorrow, the juniors and the seniors will be preparing, will be participating in the maze. And Jennifer, they're hoping this will prepare students for this weekend, being that it is prom this weekend for the students. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Ashley. All right.